Right guys, I'm back out on another dig. I hope you're all happy and well. Um, I've not been out for two weeks. I've got a lot of work to be done in house. Uh, I'm turning my two bedroom house into a three bedroom house because um, I'm wanting a bedroom for my daughter. So uh, I'm doing a lot of work in house with my pal. Uh, I'm trying to chip in. Well, he's doing most at work. I'm just chipping in, helping out. Um, I want to say a big massive thank you to Grazian, if he's watching, top man. Um, so yeah, I'm out on a dig. I'm not sure which part of the tip I'm going to be. Um, I'm out a bit late today. About tw I set off about 12 o'clock midday. So um, I'm going to get up there and see w w see where I am. Um, I might just visit a few parts at the tip. I don't know yet. So we'll get up there and we'll get cracking and see what goodies we can find. Right, uh, I've arrived at site. I'm just going to get stuck in now and uh, see what goodies we can find. Right, unfortunately, this first find uh, would have been a nice old wine bottle. Uh, so, look how deep that is. Uh, so, yeah, is it going to be one of them days? Right, I don't know if you can see it down there. The bottle just showed its scent. We have dug a few of these before. It's just fallen out of the roof. Uh, it did have a little bit of label down so I'd like, but it's a shame I couldn't see that label. I'd, I would have liked to have known what's on this. I think it could have been olive oil, to be honest. Uh, but these are really nice decorative bottles. Uh, they do show quite a nice bit of age. So yeah, I'll probably take that home, just with it being a nice, unusual shape. Right, come across a little little lid. Uh, I've got a funny feeling I know what this is. Uh, yep, pan van. Right, my next find. It's a lovely little early paste jar. Uh, let's see what's on it. Uh, give it a wipe. That says gin. Is that a J? Jenny, Jenny. Is it an M? That or an N? Looks like a J E double N I E brand. Uh, C W S. Oh, what a shame! Look at that. What a shame. That would have been a keeper, that. Gutted about that. Right. Um, I do have a bottle neck there. Uh, in here. I'm hoping it could be whole. Let's see if I can get it out. Come on. Oh, oh. let's have a look. We got oh what we got what was that? We have a med bottle. Unfortunately, it's a plain one. Very early one like, but unfortunately plain. I don't know if it is a med bottle actually. Could it be a whiskey bottle or a it's got some white stuff in it, so maybe it's a med bottle, but it's got applied lip. Uh, Right, I've had a med bottle fall out. Uh, broken. Tablespoons. What a shame. Right, another little bottle just showing its scent as I was digging. I, I did uh, hit it with my spade quite hard, but tough little bottles, these. Uh, little sheer lip. I do like these, they're quite cool. If, some of them have some really nice bubbles in them, but yeah, excellent. Nice Victorian sheer lip. Right, another bottle just showed it said. I can tell what this is. 
just about the shape of it. Uh, I think it's a Fennings. Yep, it's an early Fennings. All intact. Right guys, I apologise about the sun. Uh, it's sunny today, it's affecting the camera. Uh, but I've just found this in wall up there. I'm just digging all this out here, if you can just see. Uh, I'm going to try and make a trench going that way. Uh, to see what's underneath here. Uh, so yeah, I've just pulled this out. It looks to be an Eiffel Tower lemonade. Uh, Foster Clark Limited Maidstone so yeah that's a nice little find I'll take home now I've just found this uh, it, I think it's a big button uh, a big button I don't know if it's made out of Bakelite I don't know but it's a big brown button with a nice uh, diamond shape on it right I've, uh, I've just dug this what once was a cup uh, it's got some nice uh, flowery design on it uh, am I right to say that's a rose I think but you can tell with design that it's that sort of era early 1900s Right guys, I've just been digging in this area um, and I was just about to throw it out off at spade but can you see what I've found? Can you see it there? I'm going to go down to it now. We have, it looks a bit, a pipe bowl buzzing. It's got some sort of design on it. Let's have a look what we've got. Give it a wipe. We have, we have a love that. It's a shame I didn't find this on Valentine's Day. Uh, but we have a love that. And on the other side, we have a hand. Now, has anyone ever seen uh, this design before? Anyone out there? We've got a heart and a hand. Uh, but yeah, I'm chuffed to bits with that. Well, uh, get in there. I haven't found an inkwell for a while now, so I've just come across an inkwell. Excellent. I like my inkwells. Buzz in with that. I might already have one, same at home though, but I always take these. I always tend to take them. Sometimes I give them away as gifts, you know, if I bump into anybody. But, yeah, cushy with that. Happy. Happy with that. Happy as Larry. Right. Another med bottle's just popped out. Uh, a plain one. It's got a bit of a label on it, but you can't see, see out on that. Right. It looks to be a... An old bike bell, a piece of an old bike bell. Right, first bovril of the day has just popped out. Uh, these tend to just survive everything, these, especially these little ones. Uh, this is a, a one ounce bovril. Uh, nice old one, tall neck. Custody. Right, sauce bottle's just shown itself. Um, sometimes they have dates on the bottom of these. Uh, whether this has or not, I don't know. Let's have a look. What have we got? Just a few serial numbers. Uh, but going on that neck, that screw, early screw top, I'm going to say mm, early. It's an early one in it, but I have seen them sort of uh, screw tops on 
the back end at 30s, 1930s, but I reckon that's a bit earlier. Right, I have another bob rail. Excellent. Stick it with the other one. Bosh. Another nice little one ounce. That's two now. Right, another early screw top's popped out, another sauce bottle. Uh, slightly nicer shape, really. An elegant shape to it. But I'm guessing this is early, uh, maybe 1920s. Right, next bottle to come out is uh, a common... Fletcher's sauce. Uh, dig a lot of these on here. I tend not to film all of them because there is that many of them. Uh, it's Fletcher's grill sauce. It has a crack on the neck there, so it's not a keeper. Right, I've just found a bottle and it does look an interesting one. Um, and I'm really hoping this is intact. Uh, come on. Be all what what we got, what we got, what we got. Come on, have some on it, have some on it. Well, it's a nice oh, it's one that I've not seen uh, many of before. I have seen one, just one similar to that top. Um, it has got some some on it. Uh, pick up. Uh, yeah, let's have a look. Pick, pick up. That's what it says. Uh, and this is a Bradford bottle from Bradford. That is a nice looking bottle. Plenty of bubbles in it. But I'll clean that up a little bit more, and uh, I'll put a photo up. Lovely colour. Excellent. Happy with that. Right, um, now I've cleaned it up. It is a pickup bottle um, with a nice, interesting um, top on it. Uh, and it says Leeds and Bradford. So, yeah, I'm happy with that. Look at plenty of bubbles in there. We like bubbles. We like bubbles. Look at that one there. Bubbly, bubbly. Excellent. Chuffed. Right, I'm just digging into the sides now. I just come across another Fletcher's sauce. Uh, this one's intact. It is a nice little bottle to photograph. So I might take this one uh, just to photograph like. Uh, so yeah. Right, I've just pulled this big jug out. Uh, it's chipped on front there, no handle. It has got a bit of a design round round rim of it. I've just pulled it out from under there. It's, I have got a little bit of a soft spot here, a little soft layer, but only problem is if I dig too much in there, all this soil here is probably gonna to be too heavy. So I'm gonna to have to be careful. Right. A, a, a big, an early oxo's just popped out. Oh, let's have a look at you. A nice four ounce oxo. Excellent. This should be a UGB, I think. Yep, UGB. Very nice. Well, uh, check this out. Um, I'm guessing it is plain, but it's a, a nice amber med bottle. Uh, 
which is uh, quite nice. Uh, what's it look like in light? Let's have a look. Right, right. You do not know how devastated I am. Uh, and it's not even deep. Do you know what I mean? It's it's not even deep. Um, I was getting excited then. Uh, and look what I pulled out. A broken cod. Let's have a look what we've got. Oh, right then. Yeah, it is a broken cod, but I have actually got this one at home. Uh, I dug it a little bit further up. Um, yeah, R.I. Fowler. Late Spencer Sturton Leeds. It's a shame about that. That would have been a second one. But oh well, you can't win them all. Right, another inkwells just popped out. Uh, that's two bovrils and two inkwells today. That says F. GC2 on the bottom of that one. Oh, uh, yeah, excellent. Right, guys, that's me done for today. Um, sun's going down now, it's getting a bit nippy, so I'm gonna get home, get cleaned up as usual, spend the rest of the time with family. I'm not sure when I'm gonna be out next. Uh, I've got a lot to, to do in house. Uh, my, my pal, Grazian is um, doing a lot of work in house so my daughter can have a, her own bedroom so my house is going to be a three bedroom rather than a two bedroom now so yeah there's still a lot to work to be done so i'm not sure when i'm going to be out if i get a free friday i'm going to try and get out as soon as i can uh, so yeah until then peace out and i will see you on the next dig <laughs>